which I know you have not had a chance to review the film yet, but just from what you saw today, what, how did this one get away the way it did? Yeah, I mean, it, start, it starts with me. Uh, I have to do a better job of, of having the, the team uh, ready to play week in and, and week out. And, um, you know, I'll evaluate that, but I just didn't, didn't feel like we had the right uh, look in our eye um, from, from, from the opening, uh, from, from really from the time we ran out um, for, for, for the game. And that's on that's on me. But big place, you know, got away, big place, um, and uncharacteristic, you know, big place to give up to give up that many. Uh, so we'll watch the tape and see exactly what uh, uh, the breakdowns uh, were. But they made the plays uh, consistently. We didn't, um, you know, we in all three phases. Uh, we just uh, we gave away we gave away some snaps, uh, and then ultimately, you know, it got to to a point to where. You're in such a, you know, you're in such a deficit. You know, it's hard to hard to come back from that. Tony, after not playing this game last year, this is the first time you and Brett kind of go head to head. It felt like a reset on the rivalry. Are you worried that this one becomes bigger than just one game? And how do you manage against that? No, not not at all. Um, I mean, you know, if it's a rivalry, you throw the records out, right? Every game is is, is its own individual game, and uh, and you know. I got to tip my hat to Brent. Uh, they did. They did a heck of a job today. Uh, they were ready to play. Uh, they, they, they they took it to us uh, early on. Um, I didn't have my guys ready to play, but I'm not going to make this uh, bigger than, than than what it is. Uh, this is this is one game. Um, we're going to learn from it, and and we're going to get better uh, this off season. And then we got to wait, unfortunately, you know, for 365 days to get another shot. But uh, but I'm not. Uh, that's not how I how I view it. That's not how I think. Right uh, now, um, I have to in that locker room and in the program uh, change the mentality and mindset when it comes to uh, viewing uh, the rivalry. Um, and in this off season, uh, I'll spend time, you know, figuring out the right way to articulate uh, that uh, to uh, to everybody in the building. Uh, but but I think more importantly, what we're learning as a program is, you know, we got to have you know the right mindset week in and week out. You know, where um, we're always chasing our best game. It doesn't matter how well you played the week before or how bad you played the week before. You're always chasing uh, your, uh, your best game. And I felt like uh, just overall, uh, we, 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 we thought some plays were going to carry over from last week. Um, and touchdowns don't carry over, blocks don't carry over, um, tackles don't carry over. And you got to go earn it um, every, single, uh, every single week. You guys had talked a lot about last week building some momentum going into the offseason, how back-to-back -back wins could provide you that. Does a lopsided loss halt that momentum, or did you guys make enough progress during the year where you can take something into the offseason? I don't, I don't think so. I think, obviously, in the state, uh, we got, we, we, we've had some, we got some work to do to begin with. Uh, I think in state, you know, guys may, uh, may, look, at the, may look at the score. Uh, but when you look in totality, uh, the progress that we made, um, as a as a program, I'm very proud of uh, all those guys in that locker room and the coaching staff. Um, and uh, and I love that group of seniors. I mean, it's it's a special special group. And I know there's no moral victories, and but what that group did and what they went through, right? The adversity that 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 they faced day in and day out. And there were several weeks in the. Uh, throughout the course of the season that there was things outside of the normal uh, preparation process that they had to deal with. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm very, very proud uh, of that group and very, very proud to be their coach. And, and as I said, man, I told them this has been, you know, one of my funnest years in coaching uh, because I got to be around that group of, uh, of individuals that showed up every single day um, and, and gave what they had. There were a lot of special teams issues over the course of the season, and then obviously two more today. How do you, how do you clean that up? Yep. So we got to we, we got to work hard this off season in, in building uh, the right uh, muscle memory and uh, and movement patterns uh, for our guys uh, through uh, some of the uh, skill development that we um, uh, that we invest in. Um, we got to develop uh, our depth. Um, we got to we got to be able to. Um, have more guys uh, contribute, um, and and if if we're not able to develop the depth, then our best players got to play on special teams. And you know where you want to have a football team where you know you got guys that um, that may be a backup, 
but they're a starter on special teams. Uh, that's where we got it. That's where we got to get better. We got to develop. Uh, we got to develop that depth. Was that second kickoff supposed to be a short one? Nah, it, we, it, it wasn't. Okay. Uh, we 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 miss we miss hit it. You know, one thing on on kickoff, we got to do a better job with our ball placement. Um, punt wise, we got to do a better job with protection and also with our with our uh, uh, with our with our placement of the ball. Um, we got two guys there. We got down the football. You know, we got to strain a little harder and uh, and get the uh, get the ball carrier uh, on the ground. And that was the only disappointing thing uh, for me is is uh, DNA wise. I, I didn't feel like it, it it was Virginia football today. Uh, I didn't I didn't quite feel like we played with the uh, the effort, the tenacity, and the toughness. Uh, I can I can live with mistakes. Uh, but but I just didn't feel like DNA wise, just the things that uh, we hang our hat on. Uh, we didn't do a great job uh, coaching that uh, or uh, or performing. Yeah, going off of that, Tech has owned this rivalry for so many years now, and, and as you said that, do you think some of it is is mindset coming into this this rivalry? Um, you know, I I can't speak for for the past. I know what my my, my mindset is in a rivalry. Uh, I know the rivalry that that I played in. Coaching for a very, very long time. Um, I know that uh, there's a certain way you got to play the game. Right? There's a certain, certain level of of, of, of focus, intensity uh, that you have to have. Uh, there's a great balance between just trying to play with 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 emotion. Um, as I told the guys uh, coming in, I said, "Look, emotion is not going to win this game. Our plan to win. We got to outscore the opponent." Right, we got we got to be the more disciplined team. We got to be special on special teams. We got to win third down. We got to win the red zone. We got to win the turnover battle. Right, our plan to win is what wins, you know, these games. And we did not hit our plan to win, and ultimately we're on the uh, wrong side of of, uh, of the of the win loss column. But uh, I think overall, uh, we have to do a better job of of making sure. That we see ourselves in the right perspective when it comes to the when it comes to the robbery, and uh, I'll figure it out. Um, I gotta wait for for a while, but but I'll figure it out. And, and uh, but we gotta attack the off season, just like just like we would had we had we won this game. One of the bright spots of this season has been Malik Washington. Talk just a little bit about his impact. Yeah. Man, for, for, for the guy to come in here as a transfer and now he's in, in some esteemed company. Now he's uh, one of six players in ACC history to go over 100 catches uh, in a season. Uh, that's pretty uh, that's pretty special. Uh, but also speaks to his durability, uh, his availability, uh, the way that he prepares. Um, he's, a, he's, a, he's a fierce competitor. Um, he, he continues to, to find ways to push himself to, to get better. Uh, so it's been uh, it's been awesome to to watch him uh, perform, and I'm just really really grateful that he believed in in Coach Kitch, myself, and uh, this offense uh, to come in and, and show what uh, what can be done uh, uh, with this uh, within this program. After the the last game, Anthony Calandria gave us a, a quote, um, pretty confident. Um, one, did you say anything to him about that? Were you okay with that? Yeah. Did you like his mindset coming no, into? I told him. I told him um, you can't do that, right? You 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 can't do that. You got to be smarter. And I think Jonas uh, made a comment too. Uh, they got to be they got to be smarter. They got caught up in the uh, in the emotions of uh, of a victory and, and didn't quite. Now I want them to be confident, right? I want them to believe. I mean, in order to win, you got to believe you can win. But but what you what you can't do is you can't say those things right you got to go live those things you got to you got to go do it every single day you got to work at it so so yeah there was a conversation uh, about it and young guys learning uh, i think right after he he said it he realized uh, that he shouldn't have uh, but i'm not going to say that that's the reason why uh, the game went the way that it went that's the, i'm not, not going to put that on uh, on calandria right it was a, it was a complete team effort from from coaches uh, staff uh, to the to the guys in the locker room Sacks. Uh, your guys got sacked six times. Yeah. Did not sack. Uh, yeah, that's that's been a you know that's been a challenge for us this season is is for us to get to the to get to the quarterback. Uh, we gotta this off season we gotta go to work and you know find some some ways to improve the the technique of our guys so that we can uh, help them uh, get to the quarterback uh, a little bit better. 
and then we gotta, I mean, we gotta, we gotta look at every aspect of, of what we're doing from a from a protection standpoint. And sometimes you're gonna get beat one on one. That's football, I and mean, you're gonna lose a one on one matchup uh, every now and again. But we gotta find uh, find ways to make sure that we're putting our guys in the best position uh, because. You know, I don't care who your quarterback is. You know, he, it's, it's going to be very, very hard for him to have a successful career if he's uh, if he's getting hit uh, too much. Take a last question. Yeah, as, as your off season gets set to start, what are the biggest areas of, of need portal wise, and, and how how fast and furious is it going to come? Yeah, so it's 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 going to start. I mean, this is this is crazy where we're at in college football. Uh, the next four days uh, is going to be a lot of you know one on one meetings. You know, unfortunately, you know, you're, you're dealing with you're dealing with college kids and now we're going to start talking about the portal free agency all of that and it's going to be some tough conversations and you know first we got to you know figure out retention wise you know who are the guys that uh, that we need to, to to make sure that we that we retain on the roster and uh, then then look for opportunities to to improve uh, the roster uh, and it's going to happen fast you know the the portal technically is not open but it's uh, it's, uh, it's on and popping, as the young people say. Uh, there's a lot of action going on uh, in the portal already. Uh, there's going to be more to come, and it's just going to be a mad dash. You know, the, 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 the thing for us is we got to continue to figure out and find the right guys. Right? Uh, but then we also got to make sure if we do go uh, to the portal uh, to, to supplement the roster, we get you know the the length, the speed, the athleticism you know that we need at uh, at certain spots. All right. Thanks.